The first task here is to remove the battery. Now you may have seen this in the previous chapter, or if not, you can watch the replacing the battery video to see how it's done. Check which model you have before doing this. With the sweeper upside down, the telescopic handle and bin removed, and the battery out, we can remove the visor and take out the edge wheel from the bottom of the sweeper. Next, with the Phillips screwdriver, undo the eight screws and lift off the bottom housing to free the handle. You'll now be able to see the belt, here. To remove it, lift the brush bar and slide the belt from the gear. Then, attach the new belt onto the motor and then onto the brush bar gear. Give it a quick check to make sure it's secure. Now you can pop the bottom housing back onto the body. Before you screw the unit back onto the sweeper, make sure the battery wires are fed back through to the battery compartment and the handle is in place. We can then screw the eight screws back into place, making sure all the sides are level and sealed. Now you can replace the edging wheel, like this, and slot the tray back into place. Take your battery and attach the black wire first. Once the black wire is attached, you can do the same with the red wire, folding the terminals back along the battery. Now, place the battery back into the compartment underneath the sweeper and click the cover back into place. All that's left is to pop the visor, dust tray and tubes back onto the sweeper and you're good to go.